Hey guys, Paul in Perth here, and today we're going to look at uh, these wing mirrors on the BL Master 3 uh, and how you might change this uh, outer cap. You might want to change it because you've got one from a wrecker and you want to change the colour, or perhaps you want to change it because, like this one, this one's got a little bit damaged and maybe you've got a new one. So I won't talk about how to remove it off from the inside because I'm going to assume you're smart enough to work that out for yourself. I'm going to go straight to how do we get this cap off? So, as you'd expect, the first thing is you've got a mirror. So you need to remove the mirror. All you need is your hand. Just push it out and carefully prise it towards yourself. Okay, you'll hear three pops. The three pops that you've heard are these three ball and socket joints. So you've got one for the center and you've got one that adjusts it in this direction and you've got one that adjusts it in this direction. So you'll see those three balls relate to those three sockets. So that's come off in one piece and that's all happy. The next thing you'll notice is that down here, actually to make this easier for you, I'll show you one that's already off. If you look at this one that's already off, you'll see that they're held on with these plastic tangs. So what I'm gonna, about to show you is essentially the way that we are gonna move these plastic tangs in, in a way that releases them, so the whole thing pops off, okay? So what? So if you imagine that in your head, you've got plastic tangs. If we look back here on the mirror, if you look in this hole here, can you see right down the bottom, there's two plastic tangs. Now, if I was to press them, they would just press back at me. So what I need to do is generate a little bit of pressure that's when you get the tang over the ledge, it's gonna keep grabbing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a flathead screwdriver just under there, just to create a little bit of pressure pulling away. Okay, can you see that? I've just got the end of a pretty small flathead screwdriver in there. And then using a second flathead screwdriver, I'm gonna pop those tangs over their ledge at the same time as I'm, I'm applying a bit more pressure on this side. So pop that over, pop that over, and you can see that's now popped. So if I gently lever, 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 and it comes off, okay? And you'll see I haven't broken any tangs, and if I then got a, a new cap in a new color, all I would need to put it back on is to line it up. And remember, it wants to go that way. You've got to go in the direction of the tangs, so you're gonna line it up, make sure it's in the right holes, and you're gonna press. There you go. That's how you get that back on. Now what you're left with is putting the mirror back on. Now remember, there was three ball and socket joints, so we need to make it pop three times. So lining up the big ball and socket, so get that big ball and socket lined up, and press until you hear it go pop. Now note, my thumbs are right in the middle right over the, the uh, ball and socket. I press hard and I hear a pop. I need to press on the outer to get a second pop and down the bottom to get the third pop. And that feels, that feels right, I've got the third pop there. So that's now all back together. You would then bolt it back onto your car. And that's the whole job. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. See you later.